Welcome to Ozarks Live. Good to have you with us today. Tom is off today. Look who's hanging out, Jamie hey. Warner. <clears throat> it's been a little while since I've been on the show. but It has been a while. Have you been? I've been okay. Uh, of course, as you know, uh, you guys have made the move over to Studio B. And yep. And uh, we've renovated our studio in Studio A, so that whole process is is behind us now, and and so now I'm just enjoying the the new studio. Yeah, it's looking good over there. Looking really good. Over Very, there. Lots of lights. I mean, uh -huh. that's that's really the biggest change about it. Is is I mean, the the whole studio is lit up, and it's it's really neat. I mean, anybody that's come in that has maybe seen the studio in the past and and remembers the old set and they come in now, it's like, wow, I mean, that's a huge upgrade. Yeah, it's been a lot of years. And I remember when the old set was the new set. Right. All those years ago, I do. I mean, a lot of us do that, that like were here. That was like nine years ago? Was Something that nine like years that. Ago? Yeah. yeah. I know David's told me it's it's been about nine years, I think, since the set before the one that we were just on. Right, because you're so excited to get a new one, you know, but yeah. this one is really, really stunning. But anyway, we're glad to have you in our new home. Yeah, it's Studio great B. over here. I, I like this. I like Studio B in this setup because I feel like it's very cozy. Yeah, it is that. Know? Yeah. We like just need it a fireplace too. somewhere. I don't. You know what? Let's talk to Leo, our general manager. I'm quite don't, sure he'll be all over that. Don't ask Dave Smith about it. He'll, he'll nix it. He'll be like, nope. He's our engineer. Fire, no, fire, no. fire marshal will not go that. for that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I wish we would. Okay, so I want to talk to you about something real quick, and that is the holiday forecast. Yeah. Because this is arguably either the heaviest travel week of the year or one of the heaviest travel weeks. Well, I think they always say Thanksgiving. Yeah, Wednesday before Thanksgiving is the most you know travel day of the entire year. Not surprising. States. Yeah, yeah. And I'm probably going to road trip. Um, not sure if the whole family's going to go, but at least I think I'm going to go. People who are flying, you never know what you're going to get, but you know what we might get. And so can, what do you have for I us? can say, you know, and of course, we've had some wild weather over the last week and a half. I mean, you know, we've had bouts of snow with this past weekend. We had an ugly Sunday. It was just, you know, damp and cold all day long. We're shaking the clouds off today, and if you peeked outside, you can see we've got some blue starting to mix in with the white. So the trend is our friend right now, and it looks like for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thanksgiving Day, we're looking at a gorgeous pattern across the Ozarks and really across the region. And I was showing you right there, that was the uh, Turkey Day travel forecast. That's for Wednesday. Looks like we're looking at quiet weather. We're looking at generally clear skies. It'll be cold in the morning, but not terribly cold. Looks like a low of about 30 with an nice. afternoon high of about 57. And I think even nicer on Thanksgiving Day. Wow, what more could we want than that? Yeah. You know? It's always great to have have the nice weather hit when you need it. You know, yeah. it, it, I always hate it when you have like just this lousy weekend of weather. You know, it's just cloudy and wet. You can't do anything outside. And then you get to Monday and it's like, oh, it's beautiful outside again. Right. And we could use it because a lot of people are on the roads. And please be careful. Don't drive too fast. Yeah. Take your time. But that's good news. I just knew you'd have good news hey, for you me. Know, beam of sunshine. I know. Thank you so much, Jamie. <laughs> okay. We are starting something new uh, this holiday season here at Ozarks Live. We are partnering with Council of Churches for something called Ozarks Live for Good, hoping that our viewers will step up and volunteer. Council of Churches has plenty of opportunities, and I was part of one of them on Saturday, the Cross Lines Thanksgiving distribution. Speaking of Thanksgiving, I talked to some folks who are getting help this year and to some others who find plenty of joy in volunteering. Jamie, and I'm with my mom, Glenda, and we're kind of struggling on food situation right now. So... This place is great, and we come here and get our Thanksgiving basket. Good morning. Today at our Thanksgiving distribution, we're going to see about 967 families come through the door. When they come in, they get a number. They're going to go over into the auditorium where they can sit down and wait. And, and when their number's called, 121 through 130. They go to the help desk if they need extra help. They go in line, and in the line, they get paired up with volunteers. Seven. Those volunteers are going to walk them through the process of getting the amount of food that they get for their size of family. So they're going to get turkeys, they're going to get bread, they're going to get all the fixings to go along with it, potatoes, eggs, milk. And then those volunteers then actually carry all their food out to the car for them. So they're just going through this process of being able to make sure they get their food, but the volunteers really is the lifeblood of what makes this organization work on Thanksgiving Distribution Day. Uh, Jim Anderson and uh, I uh, greet our guests and usher them for check-in. I've done this uh, well, as a family. We've had this family tradition for 25 years now. 
So I'm Rebecca Anderson, Jim's youngest daughter, and I've been doing this for as long as I can remember. And actually used to work for Crosslines, so I have a special um, place in my heart for this organization and what they do in the community. What I'm so proud of is this is a, a lot of uh, folks in the tent, in the cold tent are out of our Sunday school class, and some of us have been doing this for over 20 years. Well, it's the right thing to do, first of all, and certainly I think it is uh, enabling uh, love that we have for our fellow human being and the kindness that we have for our fellow human being and uh, obviously a way to help folks that need that help, especially at this special time of year. Happy Thanksgiving. Isn't that amazing? Have you ever it been is. over there for that? I have not been over there for that. Uh, and, and what you and I were just talking about was, I mean, how, how wonderful that is. And this is really just the beginning of the season. Yes, you know, I mean, it is. It, this is a marathon, not a sprint. You yeah. Know? I mean, so this is just the beginning of, of more things to come over the next month as uh, we move past Thanksgiving and start heading toward Christmas Day. Exactly. And so many people need help all year round, but it's really refreshing to see the people over there helping and everybody. And you is said so especially grateful. the kids. Oh, the kids, little kids yeah. over there helping it. And a lot of people like Jim Anderson and his family have been doing it for years. Yeah. And as years. a family. Yeah, as yeah. a family. What a great activity to do. Um, by the way, on Sunday, Crossline served. 967 families with about 200 volunteers just that day wow. over by the Assemblies of God. Um, and they always need volunteers. You can learn how to help at ccozarks.org or at crosslinesholiday.org. But I've got a way that we can all help right now from home. You don't even have to get up to do it. Look for this link on our Facebook page to donate a book for the RSVP Reading Buddies program, which pairs... I like the first book, Too Much TV. I know, no kidding. <laughs> Maybe that's not the book you want. Of course it is. They're all good books. But this is a program that it pairs a senior volunteer with an elementary age student to learn to read and yeah. enjoy reading and, and enjoy books. And you can buy a book, have it sent directly to the RSVP program for everyone to enjoy. Now, when the delivery options pop up, make sure you click to have that book sent directly to Council of Churches. That makes it so easy on you. I did it today. I actually bought four books for the program. It would be great if you could donate a book as well. So just go to our Facebook page, our Ozarks Live Facebook page. You'll find a link there, and you can do your part. And just look it through that. I mean, there's some good ones in there. Like I, I remember as a there's kid, a I loved the Berenstein Bears. Yeah. That was several of the books that you saw at the very top. Yeah, Berenstein saw... Bears, Junie B. Jones. Mm -hmm. um, Oh my gosh, I can't even think of all of them, but I, I recognize Mercer most of Meyer, them. Mercer Meyer, I'm sure. Mercer oh, Meyer yeah, books. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, that's yeah. the one. Yeah. yeah. My kids loved the Wimpy Kids books. So I was sort of buying books that I knew that my kids loved, you yeah. know. Yeah, it's good stuff. Well, it's good. I mean, you're continuing to kind of spread that knowledge of these yeah. good books that you remember from you know, maybe know. your childhood or even your kids' childhood. You I know, know and you're it. just you're continuing that tradition. It's so good. Such yeah. a good program. Anyway, all right, we got a lot more coming up. It is Food Monday, and if we ever got some food in the studio today, first up Papa Murphy's Don't Go Away Ozarks Live is just getting started. Thanks Jamie for the forecast. You betcha.